Hello everybody, so um, I want to do this video because honestly I had a pain in the butt time trying to get it to work. So I wanted to go through and show you guys how to do it. So what we're doing today is we are hooking this up to make it a multi-track audio interface and I'm going to hook it up to Cakewalk because um, Cakewalk is free if you're looking for a DAW. Um, now, I'm going to be honest with you, I am a noob at DAWs. So there's going to be time, there's going to be times where things are not going to work as I hope they would. But what I'm saying is, is that is, this is, this is just to show you how to do it. This is why I'm doing it because I had such a hard time hooking it up because I'm not used to doing this kind of stuff. So with that being said, if you like these kind of videos, please like subscribe, let me know, and I will do more like this. So I have my microphone hooked up here. This is hooked up to the Model 24. We'll get into that in a minute. So the first thing I want you to do is, if you haven't, please update your console to the latest firmware. So simply go to the Tascam website. If you're in Europe, it'll, it should pop you to Europe. If it doesn't, that's fine. Um, and that's the product, Model 24 download. So go to the download sections of the Model 24. Now, in, at the time of this recording, it's at version 1.61, and there's two things you want to install. So first thing you want to do is you want to update your firmware. So you can do this, that, where is it? No, these are manuals. Uh, see, there you go, firmware. So here, you can do it from your, you, you can download the firmware, the zip file. Now, they have last year's version as well, but I would update, well, earlier this year's version. I would update to the latest. Now there's two reasons why you want to do this. Um, one is because you need to install the model mixer thing afterwards and um, they, they, they request the latest version of the firmware. And also because if you have an older model, um, model series, it doesn't offer the USB switch to allow you to do stereo mode for using it using this as just a simple stereo doesn't offer that so you want you want the latest version that's why you want the latest version because it will offer that well the six the 1.6 will the 1.61 is other stuff that they fixed it's always good to have i recommend it i think they fixed the problem if you remember me in my last video or in the when i was doing the model 16 i found that if you pull the effects out and push it back in like pull the plug in and out, it will break, <laughs> literally freeze the hardware. So they fixed that. So either they heard it from me or somebody else said it. I'm really glad they fixed that. So that's what I want you to do. So first, download the firmware. In the zip file is a PDF, how to, how to install it. Just follow it. And then you either want for, if you have a Windows computer or if you have a Mac, I have a Windows computer, you want to install the model mixer settings thing because it will include the drivers you need to make this work with um, your computer. So with your operating system. So that's that's why you want to do it. So once those are installed, the I'll, I'll just show you the Tascam model mixer. I'll pop it up here. So it will look, it says device is not connected. It's looking for it. And it is not connected. Let me connect it. So now the other thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you connect your computer directly and I see a switch because I just plugged it in directly into the into the computer you don't want to use a hub you want it to be direct connect that's another story that's just that's a recommendation it's a good recommendation because it, it does slow down it takes away the extra bounces and stuff that it'll do so that's what it'll look like there's your settings panel and you can play with this. Um, I'm not going to worry about that. So that's what I want you to do. Now let's go over to the computer, or not the computer, the Model 16 here. Oh shoot, it moved. Hope I don't break it. There we go. I'm st I still have to buy a new one. So now you can't really see much here, but that is my screen. Let's see if I can block it out. Nope. It's terror. This is this is one thing I, that annoys me about this. It's not. I have an easier time with the DP32. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna to go to menu and you want to go down to system. So systems is the last one. Let's see if I can show you here. Oh, that's, there you go. Now you can see it. There, it says system. So click, click on systems. 
and you'll see you have information on that. So go down to where it says USB audio. There you go. That's how I'm gonna have to do it from now. I'm just gonna have to put my fingers over it like that. So USB audio, so select that one. And in there you'll now see it has multi-input and stereo mix. I'm leaving it at multi-input because I want to use this as a, as a full mixer for my audio interface. Now, if you're gonna run this through OBS, you switch it to stereo mix because OBS doesn't have the controls to do that. Or if you wanna use it for something else, like you wanna record with Audacity, you're gonna to have to do the same thing. Audacity doesn't offer that. Actually, I don't know about that. I might be, I might be full of it. I will check at some point to see if that's the true case. I'm not gonna worry about it today. This is just to show you how to set this up. So now once you know, once you have your input set up, go back out. Um, now what we're gonna do is we are going to start up. Oh, no, we need to remember the USB. So what you need, you need a USB cable. You need, I think they're called type A to B. So you have the, the normal flat and then you have the square. If you have a printer, a USB printer, you'll find one of these there. Generally, generally anything like printer scan or anything bigger hardware devices have, has, the, uh, has the square style USB connection. You can pilfer it from there. You can go buy one. Um, I, I think I think I bought mine came with something my this this one here is actually from my MIDI keyboard so you can find them they're around uh, so that's number two so now what we want to do is we want to open up cakewalk in this case that's my doll that I'm gonna use so let me just start her up here cakewalk switch it over so you can see it and as you can see it's starting up now it, this is now, generally, I get an error message saying that it, I don't have this set up. I have, I, I've already set this up to work with the Model 16. I'm just going to grab a song on here. It doesn't really matter what song you grab, as long as you have something. Now, you can already see it's already working. You can see here on track this one. We're not going to worry about that right now. So what you want to do next, go to Preferences. In the Playback and Recording section on, on this DAW, I don't know what it is on the other ones, you want to make sure that you're set to ASIO. Now, the reason why you want ASIO is because that's what it has installed for the for the um, the drivers for the Model Six, Model Twenty Four, Model Sixteen, Model Twelve. They're all, they should all be the same. And now, if I go to driver settings, uh, I don't know what these two mean. I'm not going to worry about it right now. So either way, I think they're just to check timing to make sure everything's right. If you click the ASIO panel, ta-da, our little Tascam model mixer thing pops up. Perfect. So, now, in devices, once you set, once you've changed this to ASIO, it may give you a bunch of errors. It'll, or it'll tell you that it's, it doesn't know if it should use this, and you more or less just say, use it. And then you go to devices. Now, for some reason, I don't understand why, but my Samsung phone is showing up in here. We're not gonna worry about that. But now, as you can see, it has model, model mixer ASIO in, and this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and it has them all in there. And I can, I can, I can include 23 if I want, although I don't have a 23. I'm not sure what 23 is. Either way, I'll just include it. It's 23, 24, and then you can do the output. Same thing. So now, what this means here is that. It'll output and I can I can then play with it with the faders on the screen here or on the on the board That's that's the nice thing about that. So now I've done all that. I can apply it. It'll black out come back So also the other thing I did is a show show mono outputs. So That is just there. That's just there. So that it'll say okay. It's a mono output and It's and you know, it'll show it differently. So now as you can see track one is working We'll do, a, we'll do a fun record in a minute, but let me show you on here. So now we have track one, two, four, I'm not sure, I think I have 16. I just more or less set this up as a 16 channel recording. Um, and now what you do to set it, on in this case, go here, now as you can see it says in one, in two. Now it, has, it says one left, two right. That's, that's if you're going to use it as a stereo system, I am not in this case. 
then you have in one and in two so now if i select that one now i've selected tracks channels one and two as uh, a stereo track now this comes in handy now this this is kind of funny down here so if you look here like on the on the on the model 24 13 and 14 are technically stereo if you want to get it. so it's kind of funny that they they split it they they say well you can do it as mono you can but it's it's a stereo track so that's so that's kind of funny that the stereo tracks here at the end are listed as as you can listen as mono as well not going to worry about that so now as you can see and let's just turn this on for fun so you can see my voice as i bring the microphone closer it is coming up and down um if i if i turn let me just turn on the switch it over here now you can hear you hear an echo that's because it's coming through my voice here and then it's coming through the speakers and so it does it is it is like monitoring it i think if i turn this off yeah see if i turn that off then it's then it doesn't do it anymore so it just it just plays it and it's actually coming through track one which is kind of cool so like i said i can then fiddle with it i don't know i don't know the extent that i can fiddle with it on the board here uh i will do another video where i will try that because i'm like this is this is going to be an ongoing thing for me I, this is all like i said i'm new with this it's all new i'm I don't even know if I'm going to be using this to record my, my next song. I just wanted to see how to set it up and then share it with you guys and say, I got it to work. So, so that's, that's where we're at right now. Um, now I'm going to record just quickly. So we'll go up here, record. Check one, two, check one, two. Now I don't know what channel the, the, click track was coming through I will have to find that out <laughs> that's new so then I'll play it back check one two check one two and then I am I am fiddling with it on the uh on the mixer here so I was I was going up and down to see if it actually did fade in and out so yes I have full control over it here Kind of neat, really. This is this is really neat. Um, much more advanced than than doing it through a little audio interface with two channels. Um, so that, let's see. Yeah, I think. No, everything's coming through the everything's coming through the um, the DP32. So it's or not DP32, Model 24. There I go again, talking old school. So that is today's video. Um, I hope this was helpful for you. Like I said, if you do like these kind of videos, please like and subscribe, and I will continue to make them. Um, I'm uh, this is the like I said, this is all new to me. This is going to be so much fun. Looking forward to this. So I will talk to you all later. Thank you for watching. Bye. I will be your servant, kneeling at your feet, waiting for you and your special treats. I'll do anything, anything you want I'll be a ghost, and you're not too hard I'll be anyone, anyone you need I'll be a scout, 